all around the world were experiencing warming temperatures and rapidly rising sea levels. In the U.S., temperatures are rising faster than the global average. The risk of flooding from intense precipitation has risen the most here in the Northeast, where we have also experienced some of the fastest sea level rise in the world. We look back at hurricanes like Irene, which was immediately followed by Sandy, and now Harvey and Maria, which have been so devastating. They have their, you know, 100-year predictions, and this should only happen this often, and all of a sudden it's like every other year. It's just not possible to react to something so big in the moment. You can only react by, by planning for it, and I guess you have to accept it's real to plan for it. Today, Hudson Valley communities are taking a leadership role in preparing for sea level rise. Water is seeping in, presumably at high tide, and it's taking up more than 100 parking spots in that huge lot. During Hurricane Irene, the water came up past the street. During Sandy in 2012, it came up to here. As the mayor here of the city, we're lucky to be located on the water's edge. It's a beautiful area. People come uh, and visit all four seasons. However, by doing so, we also have a lot of risk. Flooding happens because of compounding factors. You have high tides, intense precipitation, storm surges, and storm water from increased paved areas. But the biggest factor we're facing this century is sea level rise. In a warming climate, sea level rise is attributed to two large components, thermal expansion and melting land-based ice glaciers. Thermal expansion is, as the temperature of, of the ocean water increases, it expands, it just takes up more space. And that leads to higher sea levels. The other factor is the melting of land-based ice, such as ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland. This is the freezer where we do our work. These boxes here are ice cores from glaciers. This is something we're facing as New Yorkers. This is something we're facing worldwide. I came to it because it just felt like there was more that I could do and maybe have a bigger impact. Preparing for climate change and adapting uh, to our rising sea levels does not have to look ugly. Climate resilience for me is to be able to go ahead and make our community be able to bounce back very quickly. And the building behind me is actually a restaurant that is a resilient building. It's designed both the kitchen and the dining room areas. There's no carpets. All the outlets are raised so that if a flood happens, they just have to uh, mop it out. And so that's a resilient building. If you live in a flood zone and love a flood zone, <laughs> you can make changes to your house that house got really badly, totally flooded. So my neighbor raised the house seven feet all the way up there. You can place in plasterboard, the cement board. You can move your outlets from low to high. And the electric panel, the AC, the furnace, and so on, should be either in the attic or in a higher floor. Those things cost you in the order of $10,000 or so, but it's worthwhile. With sea level rise projections of six feet or more this century, many communities on the Hudson River are adapting their waterfronts today to meet what's becoming the new normal. We're trying to work with the water rather than keep the water out. Just put it on and, and look around. Okay. And solve. You're on top of uh, the entry. Whoa! One of the reasons I love working with the city of Kingston is they just care so deeply about their community and really want to plan for a future that might not be even in their own lifetime. I think for Kingston in 2100, you know, we're going to see a prosperous community, one that recognized early on that by taking climate change into account, it was going to have a leg up. So I would encourage other communities to pay attention to what the DEC is telling you. 
We've been able to get grants, we've been able to become certified as a climate smart community, and, and that's really been helpful to us uh, because we're able to then get projects done.